Hey guys, welcome to my channel and as promised, today I'm sharing with you my 2016 activity planner that I've created for my three-year-old son. And before I show you the planner, I just wanted to quickly point out a few important things. Firstly, um, this planner slash curriculum is designed as a reference point. Uh, more so ever because my son currently is showing a lot of interest in learning and I guess something changes when they turn three. They have this uh, sudden urge to know more, to learn more and that's what I'm trying to do, you know, giving him an outlet uh, so that he can really enjoy, uh, you know, learning, exploring and just uh, doing things that he likes to do. Um, secondly, this in no way means that I'm starting anything really structured or formal for him. This is just my guideline to see how I can help my son in 2016 and cultivate his interest in something really productive. And thirdly, this curriculum is hugely inspired by Montessori and hence it starts off with the principle about following the child and that's what I uh, am going to do. And I urge you to do the same. Follow your child, uh, follow their cues and let them lead you on. I'm super happy to make this available as a free printable for you guys, which you can download from my blog, link of which will be in the description box below. So whether you are uh, completely homeschooling or you're just doing a preschool homeschool or you're supplementing something at home besides sending your child to school, I hope uh, you find this useful. So let's get started and I'm going to show you uh, what the planner looks like. Okay, so I have spirally binded this planner and printed it in landscape. I have further divided it into different categories and each category has a list of some fun hands-on Montessori slash Montessori inspired activities that you can do at home with your child. So let me take you through the first category which is practical life and I have five columns set here. So first is introduced then uh, three columns of practice and notes if in case you want to write something. So as in when you introduce or practice an activity, you can just tick mark it. Uh, so this gives you a kind of a reference point of where your child is. If you need to practice an activity again, what is his interest? Does he love pouring work? Does he love scooping? Does he love, uh, you know, sorting kitchen cutlery, washing vegetables? And you can repeat the activities according to what your child is asking you to do. Also, I've included few blank spaces here in case you want to include some more activities. I've also included some gross motor or movement based activities in the planner and also some outdoor sea practical life activities. I also have a section for self care or life skill activities which again forms such an important aspect of practical life category. So that was all about practical life categories. Similarly, I have other categories lined up right from grace and curtsy to sensorial, language, math, science, cultural, so on and so forth. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the printable link below so you can have a look at the PDF and download it if you guys think this might fit into your early learning journey. I also have a weekly planner attached at the end of the printable which you can roughly use to plan your child's week. I for one am a firm believer of writing my goals. I believe in power of spoken words. So I tend to write down even the smallest things that I want either for myself or for my family. I hope you find this planner useful, especially if you're stuck and really are looking for some kind of reference point. This planner is good for age group two and a half to four year old. Regarding the scope and sequence of the activities, I refer to free Montessori albums available online. So I'm going to link those up for you guys in the description box below. Do let me know if you have any queries, suggestions or feedback and I wish you all a really happy and a blessed early learning journey for this year. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Until then, bye.